Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to deploy Windows 10 1909 in SCCM. So the first thing I'm going to do is create operating system image. And the second step is create MDT test sequence and create all the required packages and then deploy test sequence. And the final step is to test the test sequence, not ST. Um, it's a typo here. So now let's get started. So I'm here in my SCCM console and I'm running SCCM 1906. I'm going to create a operating system image. I'm going to right click and then go to add operating system image. I want to browse to my the location where I have Windows 10. Windows 10 1909. I'm going to use the the WIM file that came from Microsoft Helicon Source and then install WIM. It's going to be x64 language is English. I could, this is a special um, license, so I'm going to click on the extract specific image and then choose Enterprise. I'm going to click Next. Oh, I don't have to extract, so just going to click that, click Next. I'm going to call this Windows 10 1909. Call it YouTube since it's making it for YouTube video. Click next. Click next. That is done. Now I'm going to distribute to my DP, my right click, go to distribute content, next, choose the DP, next, and next, and close. And the next step is create MDT test sequence. Under software library, you want to go to operating system and then test sequence. You're going to right click, go to create MDT test sequence. It's going to be client test sequence. I'm going to click next. I'm going to call this Windows 10 1909 for YouTube demo. I'm going to click next. The computer will join to domain. It's going to be Carson Cloud local. The account it's going to be Carson Cloud dash. Carson password click OK organizations let's call it demo product key I don't have to enter product key this is for testing only enable account specific specified password this is the local administrator password I'm going to click next. 
the test sequence will not will never be used to capture. That's fine. I'm gonna click next. Boot image. I can create a boot image or I can use the existing boot image. In this case, I'm going to use existing boot image. If you want to create a new one, you can just click on here and then create a new boot image. Just for the sake of the de this demo, I'm going to create a new boot image. Run. It's going to be, I'm going to call this um, create new folder called U to demo I'm gonna call this boot image YouTube demo I'm going to copy the path. I'm going to paste it here. Click next. This is the name of the boot image. I'm going to call this. Um, I'm going to call this X64 boot. For YouTube demo, Just copy this. All right, so I want to click next. Options going to be x64, scratch space, I'm going to leave it as 32 megabyte. Click next. There are some options here I can include. For this video, I'm not going to include anything here. It's not required. I have Dart here if I want to include this utility. I'm going to click Next. That's fine. MDT package, I can use the existing one or I can create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. It's going to call MDT package YouTube. I'm going to copy this link, paste it here. It's called MDT package YouTube Click next create an existing OS image I'll specify an existing OS image or create I'm going to specify the one I just created so this is 1909 YouTube English click next going to be Windows 10 Enterprise. Click next. It's going to be zero touch. Create a new package or you could use the existing one. I'm going to create a new one. Specify an existing USMT. I'm going to create a new one. So it's called it's going to call a USMT package. USMT package YouTube. I'm going to copy the UNC and paste it here. Click next. Let's call this USMT package YouTube 
I, I don't have to fill any fill in anything here. Just leave it as default. Click next. Specify an existing setting package. I'll create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. It's going to call. setting package YouTube copy the UNC and paste it here setting package YouTube The settings package is for Silver Core. I don't need to do anything here. It's for Windows 2008. I'm going to click Next. No Sysprep require. Click Next. It's ready to execute. Click Next. Anyway, so um, I forgot to show you here. So I created the Step 2 and Step 3 at the same time because um, create an empty uh, test sequence and then create all the required packages. Let's go back here. I'm going to click next. It's going to create, first of all, it's going to create a boot image. So I'm going to let it run. This will take a few minutes. For now, I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right, I think we are about 20% completed. All right, look like it is finish. No errors, I'm going to click finish. And as you can see, all the packages should have the contents there. The um, the next step I'm going to do is deploy the test sequence. Let's go back here, 1909. Let's click on refresh. Nineteen oh nine, here it is. Click on reference. You want to make sure your compliance is at 100. So what you need to do is distribute the content by right click and go to distribute content. Next. It's going to distribute all these contents to the DP before you can deploy it. Choose the DP. close I'm going to right click and then click on deploy collection it's going to be deployed to all unknown computers next make it available you want to choose media or pixie oh, I'm sorry only media in pixie click next next again that's fine i usually check this in the real environment click next and next so that is deploy the contents as you can see it is now Oops, where is it? It is now 
that mean I can deploy it. So I need to go back here and create. So that was step four. Uh, step five, I'm going to test the test sequence. I'm going to create a, I'm going to use the existing one. Shut this one down. Change the settings. It's going to be a network boot. Move up. My power is on. The power is up. Click on the power on button. Hmm, it's not seeing my pixie. Something wrong with my network here, so um, probably have to reboot my DP. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. <coughs> All right, look like it's failing at this package. Let's take a look at this package. It's the boot image package. Go to back. I'm going to SCCM console. Here's the under software library <coughs> boot images. I'm going to do property on this one. You want to make sure you check this box. Deploy this boot image to Pixie Silver. Click OK. Let's try it again. It's probably going to take a few minutes. Let's give it a try. Yep. Let's wait a few mi more minutes and we'll try again. There it goes. It's working now. Oh, it's booting to Pixie Server. So this will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording again. All right, I'm going to click next. Here is the, the test sequence. Let's give it a computer name. next so this is it folks um, that's how you create um, a task sequence to deploy Windows 10 1909 through SCCM so I'm not gonna let um, I'm not gonna run through the whole thing so that's just to show you how you set it up thank you very much and have a great day if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you